Hey there, old man. Hey. Don't I know you from somewhere? It couldn't be. Could it? My name's Elton. You know, you look familiar. Kind of like this gill blurb fellow I met once. It is Elton! Hey! Did I tell you I'm an inventor? Well, I invent things. Hi there! How did you end up on this island? Well, uh, I was trying to demonstrate my time machine for some young fellow. I, I think his name was Gagbert. Anyway, something went terribly wrong. Either the temporal distortion emitter malfunctioned, or there was something wrong with the chronokinetic tension adjuster. I ended up going back in time all right, but not where I was supposed to. I was deep underwater, right out there at the bottom of this bay. I would have drowned, but the portal destabilized and the wormhole collapsed. <laughs> I was thrown to the shore here by a gigantic tidal wave. I bet that swell even reached the mainland. Wow. Yes. At least I finally know what caused that flood when they baptized Princess Michelle. Is that your raft? No, that's my high-performance, cycle-powered watercraft. But I guess you could call it a raft for short. Why don't you use it to get off the island? Oh, I fully intend to. But I'm afraid it's still missing a few parts. How long have you been here? Well, uh, according to my calculations, I've been on this island for almost 20 years. 20 years? Couldn't you have found some way to get home by now? Well, uh, I'm almost done building my high-performance cycle-powered watercraft. <laughs> Have you seen the sheriff around here lately? No, but there was this really strange mycologist with a giant mushroom here this morning. Before they invented drawing boards, what did they go back to? That's a good question. Of course, drawing boards were the first things ever invented, so it was never a problem. How many weeks are there in a light year? I don't know. But a fast ship can make the Kessel Run in less than 12 parsecs. Why doesn't glue stick to the inside of the bottle? Wouldn't you want to get out of a glue bottle someday? If a turtle doesn't have a shell, is he homeless or naked? I don't know. But he'd have one heck of a sunburn. What happens if you get scared half to death twice? That's when I stopped keeping explosives in my shorts. Why didn't you just build a simple, plain, ordinary raft? Do you know how long it would take to make it back with a simple, plain, ordinary raft? I don't know, a couple of days? Yes, with my high-performance cycle-powered watercraft, I think I can cut that down to a few hours. What parts are missing from your raft? 
Well, uh, I need a set of pedals and, and some rope to transfer the torque. And I haven't gotten around to building the rudder yet. How does your raft work? Well, when it's finished, the pilot will sit in what I like to call the human energy supply receptacle. Or was it the human engine support mounting? You know, my mind isn't the picture of sharpness it was 20 years ago. <laughs> anyway, the, the pilot will use his legs to turn a set of pedals, providing torque that will be transferred by rope through the transmission and into the propeller. The spinning propeller will not only propel the craft forward, but help to keep the pilot cool. Okay, well, I gotta go. Ow, it's hot! The sun's really heated it up. What should we want and then? What's your name? I've come to be known as Rupert the Red. Is it because of your snazzy red jacket? No, because I paint me toenails red. Of course it's because of me jacket, you incognizant wiener. Are you looking for treasure? Yes, the famous lost treasure of Beardy Bart, the Blasphemer. What makes you think you'll find treasure here? In one of my former occupations, I managed to acquire the logbook of Beardy Bart, the Blasphemer. Now, old blasphemous Bart, he kept a pretty complete log. It must have been that educating he got from the monks before he... Well, I'm sure you know the story. Well, according to his log, Blasphemous Bart searched every square inch of this here island. Except for the spot we're a-standing on right now. So why didn't he find the treasure? He took a cannonball to the molars before he was able to finish searching. And no one else knew where to look. Until I acquired me that logbook, that is. Can I see that logbook? <laughs> you don't think I'd be carrying the logbook around with me? For anyone to come along and have a peek now, would you? Ah, I memorized the book and burned it before we ever came here. How long have you been here? We've been a searching for old Bart's treasure for the better half of a year now. What's taking you so long to find it? Well, we suffered a few setbacks, such as the sinking of our ship a few miles off the coast of this here island. Can I borrow a shovel? And start doing some treasure hunting of your own. <laughs> you won't be getting your paws on any of our shovels, you rapscallion! What did you do before you were a pirate? I was a janitor at the Royal Navy Museum. But if you ever tell anyone, I swear I'll see you walk the plank. What happened to your ship? We had a run-in with a far-reaching cannon just off the coast of that city to the north. We weren't too worried at first, seeing as the cannonballs were all made of this really flimsy wood. We just started searching the other islands to the south. Since Bearded Bart's logbook said the treasure could be either here or on that island with a funny sounding name. 
We're not sure what island he meant by that. So we checked them all. That's how I know the treasure's got to be here. Well, by the time we checked those other islands, we completely forgotten about our encounter with the wood-throwing cannon. We kept some of the cannonballs in the hold as souvenirs, but some of the wood went to rot. And without us knowing, the rot spread through the hold and ate right through the hull. Then one morning as my cook was flipping pancakes, whoosh! The old ship started filling up with water faster than we could bail. So we floated our supplies in a bunch of empty barrels and swam the rest of the way here. What about your crew? What were they before? Look, do you really have to know this? Tell me, or I'll sing the Pirates of Penzance. Hmm. Can you sing? I don't know, but I intend to find out. No, no, no. Wait. I'll tell you. They weren't always pirates either. My cook, Edmund. Edmund? Yes, I am it. Evil Edmund. He used to be an accountant. <laughs> well, you said you wanted to know. Uh, what about the other guy? In the pit? That's Dave. Dave used to be a shoeshine boy. What kind of name is Dave for a pirate? He's a uh, uh, dirty Dave. <laughs> Look, you're the one who wanted to know. You guys aren't really pirates at all, are you? Don't we look like pirates? I have a wooden leg and an eye patch. What more do I need? I don't know. There's something not quite pirate-like about you. I think it's those really nerdy glasses. Are you sure it's not because I don't have a parrot on me shoulder? No, it's the glasses. You don't look like real pirates in those glasses. Are you sure about that? I could hold a bottle of rum. Yeah, that must be it. I need a bottle of rum. No, that wouldn't do it. It's the glasses. Wait, I know what's missing. I need a Jolly Roger on me hat. That's what's missing, sure. No, it's definitely the glasses. You don't look like pirates at all with those glasses. It's okay, we don't need glasses. In fact, those aren't glasses. They're safety goggles. Prove it. We don't have to prove anything. <laughs> What's so funny? I just thought of how it'll look in the history books. When they write about how these three nerds dressed up like pirates to look for Bearded Bart's treasure. We're not nerds! All right, men, take off your specs. See? I can see just fine. Oh, I I'm sorry. Now you do look like pirates. I it was only the glasses. Well, we don't need those glasses, do we, boys? No, ya scallywag. We're 100% pirates now. Are you really a pirate chef? See, si. what can you cook? Well, without my glasses, I mean, I, I mean, without my protective eyewear, all I can make safely is some jelly. You can make jelly out here on this remote island? Sure.
I don't want it. Something. Hmm. It looks like a chest of some sort. If I dig some more, I can pick it up. There. Got it. Hey, this must be the treasure those pirates are looking for. Well, finders keepers. There. I dug my way under the bars. Boy, is it dark in here. The treasure of bearded Bart the Blasphemer. I'm going to be rich again. And... Another chest. Okay, this time there's going to be treasure inside. And... Another chest! Okay, this time there's going to be treasure inside. The crowbar broke! And another chest. I should be able to open this puny thing. Uh, finally, the treasure of... What's this? A potato and a note? It's a note. To the most beautiful of queens, I give this, our country's most prized possession. We do not know exactly what it is, but it appears to be some kind of exotic fruit. No one has ever dared taste it, as it is the only one of its kind that we have ever seen. I hope it is as sweet as it is rare. Love always, the Most Imperial Emperor Hakimoto.
It's fully charged now. It's really glowing. The light is fading. I have to charge my glow-in-the-dark pal again. <laughs> 